Welcome. This is a tutorial from the University Library's website on how to search the CINAHL database. In this tutorial, we will be going over how to get into the library's homepage from off campus, how to find if the library owns a particular journal, interlibrary loan, how to access and find full text articles in the CINAHL database, and contact information. CINAHL stands for the Cumulative Index of Nursing and Allied Health. This database provides abstracts and many full text articles in allied health such as occupational therapy, physical therapy, and nursing. To get into the library's homepage from off campus, you would go to the MyQ page right here. You would go where the tab is, the IT and Libraries tab. You would hover over that and there is a drop down. You would click on Library Arnold Bernhard. On the library homepage, I want to go over a few things on our homepage. If you scroll down, there is contact information. You can contact a librarian by email, phone, or there is a live chat. Also, if you scroll down a little farther, under About is our library hours. Let's go right into our journal finder, which is located right on the top of the library homepage. The library does maintain a collection of journals right here in all academic areas. This is to see if the library owns a particular journal, newspaper, or magazine. Let's click on Journal Finder. You can search by the title name to check the availability. For example, let's type in American Journal of Occupational Therapy and click Search. And let's scroll down. If you want to see if the journal is peer-reviewed, below the journal it says peer-reviewed. This also will tell you what coverage we have for this journal, how far back, and what databases we have it in. So from 1980 to the present is in our CINAHL database. 2004 to the present is in Health Reference Center. This is just for locating if we own a particular journal, newspaper or magazine. Let's go back to our homepage. Just below our Library One search is our interlibrary loan. If the library does not own a particular journal article, you can request the article through interlibrary loan. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Please do not pay for any journal articles. It usually takes about five working days, but may come in sooner. The article will be sent directly to your email. The first time you go in, you will need to fill out a little form. You only need to do that once since it remembers who you are. Let's go back to our homepage. Next, I will be showing you how to search and retrieve the full text articles in the CINAHL database. CINAHL can be found right under where it says popular databases, right here. So right under popular databases, is CINAHL. And remember, CINAHL stands for the Cumulative Index of Nursing and Allied Health. So let's click right on CINAHL. Once you click on CINAHL or any of our electronic resources from off campus, you are going to come up with a screen that's going to look just like this. You will need to authenticate yourself from off campus. You need to enter in your Quinnipiac username and password. These are the same as you, that you would use for your Quinnipiac email or Blackboard without Quinnipiac.edu on the end. So for instance, it might be your first initial and last name or your first initial, middle initial and last name and then your password. As long as you keep the browser open, you can open more windows and work with other databases and electronic resources without logging in again. So let's go right to our CINAHL database. Let's click on right on CINAHL. And this is a keyword. So we're going to be typing in our terms right here in keywords. Right next to keywords, if you would like, you can select a field. So if you wanted to also, you can decide if you wanted to search by a particular author. If you had a particular author you wanted to search on. 
or if you had a particular title of an article you would like to search on, you can do that right under Select a Field. But for today, we're going to be going into keywords. And keywords are very similar to a Google search. Keywords can appear anywhere in your results. They can appear in your title or your abstract. For example, I'm going to be using the term dementia. And like you, you can see, it gives you other terms you can use, such as like dementia or Alzheimer's. So we're going to be clicking on dementia or Alzheimer's, and that's one or the other. So this, if you put in dementia or Alzheimer's, using the or terms in a search broadens your search. A search on dementia or Alzheimer's contains documents containing the word dementia and Alzheimer's or dementia or Alzheimer's. So it can contain both terms or one or the other. Next, we're going to narrow our term down. And and, if you put in the term and right here, this will narrow your results. And we're going to put in the term in quotes, occupational therapy. Now, when you put your terms or your phrases in quotes, that means the two terms always appear side by side. So you won't be the term occupational therapy, occupational one place and therapy another they'll always appear side by side. Your results will have the terms dementia and occupational therapy or Alzheimer's and occupational therapy. Let's scroll down and you can limit in this database also. Now remember, in this database, your results can go back, so you can get articles going back into the 1950s and depending on your terms. So let's scroll down and let's limit by a publication date. So we're going to limit by January 2012 to the present. All you have to do is right under date, you go into January, it says publication date, January 2012. And if you leave this blank, the ending blank right here, it will go right up until the present. So it'll be January 2012 to probably and a lot of our publications are coming out ahead of time, so it'll probably be until, it might be until August of this year. Also, you never ever want to check off where it says limit to full text. If you check off limit to full text, you will only get articles that are limited to full text articles in this particular database. You will, be miss, you will miss some of the pertinent articles in other databases. All of our databases, they link to one another. So if you check off, like I said, if you check off full text, you will only limit to this database. You will not be able to broaden out to other databases where there might be other results and pertinent articles in those other databases. Also, let's go down and we want to limit to English. So let's check off English. And if you want your peer-reviewed articles, and that means that peers in their field have reviewed these articles. So these scholarly articles, they may want to you know, check off peer-reviewed also. And let's scroll down also a little bit farther. If you want research articles, so if you're looking for a research article, you can check off research articles. And let's scroll down a little farther if you want evidence-based um, practice articles, you can check off your evidence-based practice. Also, you can limit by clinical queries. And say, for example, let's scroll down. You're looking for, say, qualitative articles. You can check off, you can just highlight. You can click right on it and highlight qualitative. And let's scroll down. Also, if you want to limit by human, so you don't get any of those animal studies, you can do that. Let's check off human. If you'd like to get a randomized control trials, you can check off randomized control trials. Also, geographic subset. Say you, you, know, you wanted something in Europe, you can click check off Europe. Just highlight it. And let's scroll down a little bit farther. 
And there's journal subsets, such as consumer health, and also, you know, there is that peer-reviewed also right here. Let's scroll down a little farther and write under publication type. If you wanted, you know, here are clinical trials in here, and there are evidence-based uh, care sheets in here and many others. And you can limit by a language, and today we're going to limit by English. But if you know another language, that's fine as well. And you can also limit by a sex or female or male. And let's scroll down a little farther. There is age groups, if you want to go into an age group right here, or a special interest as well. And that could be critical care if you wanted to, emergency care, and so on. Or if there's evidence-based practice also in here. So after you've gone and you've limit and we've, we're going and let's reiterate we're going into dementia or Alzheimer's so it's one or the other occupational therapy in quotes to keep those two terms together and we're putting and between our terms to narrow it down let's scroll down we limit to January under publication date 2012 to the present we kept it open we checked off English, research articles, and we checked off human, and under language, we checked off English. And then you can just scroll down and click on search. And I came up with 55 results right here. See the 55 results? And remember, all your limiters are right here on your left-hand side. So under limiters, here's your publication date, English, peer-reviewed, research articles, human, and language. If you choose and you don't want, say you didn't want, you know, research article, you can just click right on the X and it will take it away for you. You can also, if you scroll down on the left-hand side, you can also limit. If you choose, there's a little scroll bar right here. You can just click on it and move it from the left to the right and update it. It will go to, say, 2013 or 14 to the present. So these articles are right now are just from 2012, and there's only articles on this topic until 2015. And under academic journals, there's 53 academic journals, and you can also open it up to a language right here, which is English. An age, if you decide you want an age, you can check off an age. And you can also show more as well. So let's go back and we have our 55 results. So, and these are by the most relevant articles come first. So right here on the top, it says relevance. And these are the most relevant articles. You can change this if you want to to the date to the newest articles coming first, if you choose. But I'm going to decide I'm going to go to the most relevant articles first. So I'm leaving it at relevance. So let's scroll down. And right here is your titles. Everything, all the titles are in blue. A systematic review of the effects of occupational therapy for persons with dementia. Those are your titles. If you click right on the title, right here, right underneath your title, and here's your title, is your authors, Kim, and right under, a little farther down, is source, and that is the name of the journal, neurorehabilitation, and right under the journal is your year, 2012, your volume, volume 31, issue two. Some journals come out, you know, four times a year, six times a year, and your pages. So this is page 107 to 115, nine pages. Scholarly and peer-reviewed usually are very lengthy articles. They always have references at the ends of the articles. And here is a nice little abstract to give you a little description what it's about. 
You can decide if you want to save this. You can save it right here, or you can email it to yourself. Now, to get a full text article, there are several options to getting a full text article. Here is the PDF, which is a scanned replica of the original article. You always want to find the PDF because it looks like it comes right out of the journal itself, the hard copy. Now, if you're not on this page, and if you go back, your PDF will be right underneath here. And you, let's click right on PDF. And here is your full article. Here is your title. Now, remember, scholarly journals always have either an abstract right here or they can have an abstract and an introduction, or just the introduction. They may have methods. Scroll down, charts. And there's graphs in here also, and that PDF brings up those graphs and those charts. And there's always, there's usually a discussion in here. And here's your discussion. And there usually is a conclusion or a, there could be a summary at the end. And there always is references at the end of the articles. So if you find an article and it has no references, it's usually not a scholarly and peer-reviewed journal. Also, always remember in scholarly journals, there can be book reviews or commentaries. Your professor does not want a book review or a commentary or an editorial. Commentaries and editorials are opinion pieces and anything that comes up that says editorial or commentary, please do not use. And also let's scroll down. So like I said, there are several options to getting a full article. And we're going to go down to number 16 right here. And we're going to click right on where it says Occupational Therapy and Dementia Care. So if you click where, where it says Check for Full Text, remember I mentioned to you, never click on that where it says Full Text. If you click where it says Check for Full Text, it may link you to another database or publisher's website. So this is a publisher's website that says Wiley Online, and always look around for that PDF, which is that scanned replica of the original article. So it brings up your graphics, like I said, and your charts, and it looks like, right like it comes out right out of the book, out of the journal itself. So here is your introduction, and like I said, they're usually lengthy articles. Here's your methods procedures, data, and scroll down a little farther, and here, you know, there's, here's your conclusions, and of course your references at the end of the article. Let's, let me go back to our list. And let's me go back, let's go down. Also, when you click right on where it says check for full text, here's one, number 29, occupational therapy for caregivers of people with dementia. So let's click right on check for full text. This is another example. And like I said, this is another example because this is from one of our SAGE journals. And this is one of our databases. So the other one was a publisher's website. This is coming from one of our databases. And remember, always look around where it says PDF. And here is the full article. Let's go back to our screen right here. Also, when you click on check for full text right here, 
you might come up with something that looks just like this. Scroll down and see where it says get article right here. You will click where it says get article because it has 1997 to the present and your article is from 2015. So you're going to click right where it says get article. And here is your full text article. Also, now you're going to look around for your PDF, which, like I said before, it's your scanned, it's a scanned replica of your original article. That looks like it comes right out of the journal itself. Click up right on that. Click where it says download as PDF. And in scholarly journals, you always want to look for that PDF. And here is your full article. And this one's on that home-based occupational therapy intervention. And here is your full article. So when you click on one of our databases or where it says check for full text, and an article does not come up, and I want to show you one, you can always request it through Interlibrary Loan. And right here, Therapeutic Recreation, that's the title, and let's click right where it says Check for Full Text. And anything that says request via interlibrary loan. If that comes up, you can always request this article through interlibrary loan. You just click on it. Remember the first time you will need to register. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And it's sent, the article is sent directly to your email. It may take up to five working days. It usually comes in sooner. And let's go back to our results. Now also, if you click on any one of our databases and say you can't find the article, and so you're going into one of our databases and the article doesn't come up and you want to double check to see if we own a particular article, you can always double check by going in, number 18, and you want to find out if a particular journal, if you want to find out if we own it. All you have to do is remember, you just click right on the title. And if this doesn't come up with the full text article, you want to double check. See where it has the source. This is the name of your journal. You just take the name of the journal, copy and paste it, go back to the library homepage and go where it says journal finder. So you can go right where it says Journal Finder. Make sure, absolutely make sure that you write down the name of the journal, the year, which this is the month and the year, which is this June 2014, the volume, the issue, and the pages. Also, please make sure you write down the name, the title of the journal. And then you're going to be going in to our journal locator, which is right on our home page. Click right on Journal Finder. Type in the title of the journal, Hong Kong Journal of Occupational Therapy. And this is the name of the journal, not the name of the article. Click Search. Scroll down, and here it is. And remember, this was 2014. So we can go from 2001 to present is in Science Direct. Also 2007 to present is in Clinical Key. And 2001 is in our medical journals. But I'm going to choose Science Direct. I'm going to go right to the first one because this is 2014. And we're going to click right on Science Direct. And let's scroll down. And we are going to go to, remember I wrote down volume 24. Number one, here is the years right here, open archive articles, 
scroll down to volume 24, number one. We're going to click on it. And let's scroll down a little farther. That's 24, number one. And then we are going to look for the article itself. So let's scroll down a little bit farther. And here it is. Effects of the productive activities and occupational therapy for people with dementia. And here we're going to click right on the PDF, and here is the full article. So if you ever want to bring up a full text article and say you noticed, you know, you're getting, you noticed that it's not coming up or you're having some trouble, just copy and paste the title of the journal. Make sure you write down the volume, the pages, and the year and the name, title of the article. Go into, remember the journal finder, put in the title, look down for the volume and the year in the issue, and then look for the article. If you have any questions about any of this, if you need any assistance, you can always call me directly. My name is Rhonda Colbin. You can dial me at 203-582-8368, or you can contact the Arnold Bernhard Library Reference Desk at 203-582-8368. 8633. Wishing you the best of luck with your studies.